Hello lovely people and welcome back to a new video. My name is Evelyn Marta and today I am back to talk about the December energies, an energy update about the month of December. We are approaching the end of the year. I cannot believe that. It was a very intense, I would say again, it was an intense month that we are leaving behind. November was intense, but then the whole year was quite intense and so many things happened and I think many of us have changed our perspective on life and our belief systems have changed immensely in the past 12 months. So we will be checking what is happening in December before we close 2021. And uh, as you know, my last video was removed by YouTube. It was deleted by them because I was talking about a topic that was quite sensitive, even though I didn't use the magic word, you know, but I use other expressions and words that are related to the technology behind it. And the fact that they removed that video is just confirming for me that it's very true what I was saying there. Those hidden things are true about this procedure. If you want to watch that video, you will find the link in the description box below. And on that platform, I have a new channel and please subscribe to that channel as well, because probably I will use that platform more often in the future. I will not say the word, the name of that channel, because they are absolutely hating that. It's an independent platform. You can post whatever you want there. You can talk about whatever you want there. And they absolutely hate that. And uh, you know what I noticed these days about the platform? I noticed that whenever I was trying to post the link, the link would start not working after a while. So I did have to repost the same link, the link of my channel and the link of the video as well, because after a while it stopped working for some reason. So it's very, very exhausting to go against what is happening right now. And uh, it's very exhausting for me to fight this thing. But we are in war. It's a spiritual war. It's a consciousness war, what is happening now, and we have to acknowledge that. And I was trying to stay out because I knew that these last two, three months of the year will be very intense and very hard. And there will be a lot of polarity, a lot of conflict in the world. And I was trying to stay out of that as much as possible. But I cannot stay out because it is in my face and it's in everyone's face what is happening right now. And it's almost like a greater force inside of me that is telling me to speak out and not to remain silent. And I do feel like I'm not here on this planet right now to just stay silent and not to do anything about this. We do have to do something about that. And I keep saying that. The first step is always to change your belief system. And if you look back how you were thinking about certain things one year ago, you will notice a huge difference in your thinking right now. There was like a huge spiritual awakening for me this past year. And I do think that the biggest change that we have noticed on ourselves in terms of our belief system and how we perceive this whole spirituality was that we do see now that that love light, you know, positive thinking, what we have promoted maybe one year ago. I didn't even, I mean, I started my, my YouTube channel one year ago, but I know that in my spirituality, many times I was staying out of negativity and I didn't want to let anything in that would interfere with my spiritual cocoon, with this positive vibe, because I wasn't ready for that. And so many of us who are on this spiritual journey, we are realizing now that in this matrix, the love light bypassing spirituality is just as dangerous as the opposite negative polarity. It is a different programming having the same end result. It is extremely dangerous to spiritually bypass, because that means that the negative hasn't been integrated. And if it hasn't been integrated, it cannot be understood. And so many people say that, oh no, I mean, in 5D, I'm not going to let anything that is 3D to come and to interfere with my positive energy and with my high frequency, my high vibration. No, darling, you're not in 5D. Because if you were in 5D, negativity wouldn't affect you at all. 3D wouldn't affect you negatively at all. You wouldn't resist and you wouldn't reject this density so much if you are in the fifth dimension. So we are not in the fifth dimension yet and we are not supposed to be there yet because there is still a lot of work that needs to be done in this density. And a very important part of the process is to stand in our sovereignty right now. And the current choices that we are making right now are part of the biggest test of our incarnation and that is getting clearer and clearer for me every single week especially in the past few weeks since i started to do my research about certain things and i started to take the red pill let's just say 
and I'm feeling overwhelmed, I'm feeling tired, energetically affected by the information that I'm getting. So it's not easy. But it's all about staying in our sovereignty and saying no to this or saying yes. And many people say that it's all about the intention that is behind of taking this one. But intention is a very complicated matter because if it doesn't come from a sovereign place, from a place of total honesty, authenticity and freedom and true inner power, then it can be overwritten by other intentions. So we might think that we are helping with that and we are genuinely thinking that we are helping. But that help can come from a place of traumatic past, codependent tendencies. Even me, for me, making this video can come from the codependent tendency of wanting to help others. So intention is a very, very complicated matter and it requires a lot of inner truth and inner power and a lot of awareness about our subconscious coping mechanisms. That's why it's so important for us to do shadow work and to do inner child work and trauma work and to heal ancestral trauma. So it is very important, this particular decision that I'm talking about. A few months ago, I thought that, oh, it's, it's not a big deal, you know. I'm still not gonna get it, but it's not as a big deal <laughs> as I'm thinking because we can override everything. But it's quite a big deal from a spiritual perspective and from the perspective of the soul. Because the whole orchestration behind it has to do with the human soul. The human soul being replaced with something synthetic. And compliance with this at this point involves your free will. And your free will is an extremely powerful tool that you can have as a soul. It is the most powerful tool and biggest creative force that you can have. So it's really up to you for what purposes you're using it. And it's up to you if you want to hand it over or not to a force that is synthetic and doesn't have your best interest. On the contrary, so careful with your choices and who you are handing over your creative force, creative power and your free will. Because it does have consequences, that choice. This is all I can say in that regard. So there are a few things that I want to talk about in today's video. So first of all, I do have a channeled message from Source. Thank you for everyone who has voted in my poll. You voted for Source that you want guidance from Source Energy at this time. So I will read that for you. But before that, I wanted to talk about um, a dream that I had a couple of weeks ago. I had a dream where I had two dates that I could hear clearly. And one of them was the 8th of December and the second one was the 6th of January. Now, we have so many psychic dreams lately and I wanted to ask you if you have any psychic dreams, please let me know in the comment section. Please tell us because I think those dreams can really indicate the energies of what is coming and they might help someone. So please share that with us in the comments because we all want to know what is coming and I think if we put the pieces together that would help us. And psychic dreams are very very significant at this time. So the 8th of December, 6th of January. I have no idea what these dates are. I have no idea what they want to say. I don't know if they talk about this year the past, next year, but I did my research a bit about the 8th of December and significant historical events on that date and I found out a few interesting things. So let me share with you what I found about the 8th of December. I'm not going to talk about the 6th of January because uh, I want to focus on December in this video. I will talk about that in my January energy update video and then afterwards I will talk about the astrological aspects and things that are happening in December. And then we will check the energies as well with the reading. So let's see how much time I have because I don't want to make this video too long. Okay, so significant historical events. I wrote down a few. So 1941, the US and Britain declare war on Japan. The US enters World War II after the, the Pearl Harbor incident on the 7th. So that is a very significant date because the US entered the Second World War and declared war on Japan. And then 1976, the U.S. performs nuclear test at Nevada test site. And what is very, very interesting is that in 1981, France performs nuclear test as well on the exact same day, the 8th of December. And then 1987, U.S. President Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev sign treaty eliminating medium-range nuclear missiles, again with nuclear energy. 1989, Great Britain performs nuclear test on the 8th of December as well. So much happening on the same day. Nuclear energy. And then 2020, the UK begins injecting for the virus using 
the injection starting with the letter P. And then also on the same day, on the December 8, 2020, former Israel Space Security Chief says aliens and the Galactic Federation exists and Donald Trump knows about it. And this was published in an article. So I'm not sure what this 8th of December wants to say and what it means, but there's a lot happening on that particular day throughout the history in regards to nuclear energy. And then the, the thing started as well on that day last year in the UK. And then also it was the first time when the existence of the Galactic Federation was published and uh, made official, so to speak. And I did have another dream back in September and uh, it wasn't like a particular dream, but it was more like a sentence that I heard very, very clearly. And that was the days of Japan. So this is what I heard, but I don't know what it meant. And I was thinking, I remember the next day, what could that mean? And uh, this summer as well, I had loads of dreams with Asian looking people as well. And I was trying to put the pieces together and to find out what that means. And I thought maybe something is going to happen in Japan or something in that area. But then I was like, wait a minute, the days of Japan actually in the Second World War were related to nuclear energy because the two atomic bombs were dropped on Japan and uh, loads of tests were performed on that particular day throughout the history, loads of nuclear tests. Plus the US declared war on Japan on the 8th of December as well, 1941. So I'm not sure what that means. I just wanted to share this with you. And if you have any idea about the 8th of December, please let me know because I would be curious. But I thought that this, this was very, very interesting. Oh, and by the way, John Lennon was killed as well on the 8th of December, 1980. I forgot to say that. So that is interesting as well. Okay, so let's talk about the astrological aspects of December. What astrological events are happening in December? And I want to highlight one particular astrological event. So I want to talk about that in today's video. And that is the Saturn Uranus square, which is happening on the 24th of December. So at Christmas Eve, basically. But before that, we have this powerful solar eclipse on the 4th of December, which I made a video about. So I'm not going to repeat myself. So you can watch that video if you want. This Saturn Uranus square is happening for the third time this year. We had one back in February and then one in May and then this is the last one. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this square between these two powerful planets is because they are possessing contrasting qualities. And the tension between Saturn and Uranus was the defining astrological theme of 2021. Saturn is very traditional and it builds enduring structures while Uranus is the opposite. It insists on making changes to the status quo. It has this innovative vision and wants innovative changes as well. Now, what is very interesting is that Saturn and Uranus have a roughly 45 year cycle. And the last time that they were in union was in 1988. And that was the year when the Soviet Union collapsed as well. And when the Berlin Wall was crashed down as well. That was also the year when the US became a superpower in the world after winning the Cold War. So if we think about this 45 year cycle that started in 1988, where significant changes happened in the society, the Berlin Wall, the fall of the Soviet Union, that would mean that until 2032, no significant changes would happen in our society. And that would be devastating because that means that we have to hang in there for another 10 years. So hopefully that will not happen because we are in the middle of a spiritual war now. A war of consciousness as I said and it is not about a war between a few countries it is a war between humanity and another force that wants to transform humanity into something else so this for me astrologically doesn't mean that we have to wait another 10 years until something changes it's more like the rebuilding of a completely new world will probably last until 2032 so until everything will be replaced with a new energy so this Saturn Uranus square always indicates a rapid innovation within social movements and the sudden collapse of societal structures. And as the old systems fragment, new alliances will be born and formed together with those that want to co-create the same world that we want to create as well. So we can do that together. And the old ways will not return. The old world will be never returning. So if you are expecting the old to be back and things to get back to normal, forget about that. We have to forget about that old system because it's collapsing and nothing will be the same. 
but it will be much more beautiful. And I'm saying that because energetically, this conflict between Saturn and Uranus is always in the favor of Uranus. Uranus always wins. So this rearrangement of the society will probably last for the next two years from an astrological perspective. Obviously, the, the complete rearrangement and replacement will last until maybe 2032. But the next two years will be, will be harsher and tougher for us. So we have to hang in there. It might even run its course earlier. So in the next one year, because we are at a tipping point right now, it's a boiling point. And that boiling point might last until summer next year, 2022. And after that, things might move a little bit easier and then flow smoother. They will not get back to normal, but things might be a little bit, um, you know, easier and um, less regulation, so to speak. So it will happen gradually. But what I got from the Galactic Federation from one of the channelings was that in between 2025 and 2028, things should change and shift and uh, we will have more peace in that period. So I would like to know when that happens because this is a real, real hard moment that we are going through. It's a momentum, but we have to embrace the unknown because it's bringing some powerful and beautiful things. Do not give in. Do not give in to the pressure that is being put on you. And I know it will be hard. It will be super, super testing and super, super challenging. Okay, so now I will share the message that I received from Source last night about the energies of December. And I think we are needing this guidance right now. Every time that I channel Source and the energy comes through, I always feel this amazing love, unconditional energy. And it's always making me cry. Like it's making me tear up whenever I channel. It's like so, so powerful and so intense. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you about a dream. Oh, sorry, not a dream, but a, a meditation that I had and the experience about the meditation. I will tell you that after I read this message. So this channeled message is from Source from the 26th of November, 2021. Dear children, I am here to illuminate your hearts in the midst of confusion that is present within your beings. I am here to present you with the beauty of your essence that is the beauty of my own essence and that which is present in your hearts and in your beautiful being of God. You are all creators and initiators of this journey on planet Earth. You are all here using your free will and many times you might not be aware of it, but you are the children of the creation birthing in this process, the creation of other beings and energetic frequencies that are coming from source energy. I am there within you all, and when you realize my presence, there is no darkness that can interfere with your pure beings. You must stay in the knowing of the beauty of your being, and you will be guided and safe on your journey. Your safety lies within your heart and within knowing the essence of you and who you are. Your safety is not reliant on what the world in which you live in is portraying what safety is. Your courage and your power, that is divine, is being felt in the whole universe in which you reside in. And what you are going through right now is resolving itself. So be with that knowing in your heart and be with me, pure children of creation. There is no doubt about where you are coming from. Please release your doubts about your pureness and loving nature because you are my precious children and I love you beyond the comprehension of your mind. That love can only be felt in your heart, and with that love you are close to home to yourselves. So there is no path that can look scary or can feel untrustable. There is no outcome that is not promised. You all know that, but you have forgotten that forever present truth. And then I was asking Source, what is your advice for us for the month of December? And Source said, stay in the truth of your origin. Stay in the truth of who you are, and no malevolence can touch your precious souls. There is nothing that is outside of the love of God. However, many have wandered far from this conviction. Many have chosen the pathway of forgetfulness, but eventually you will all return to the source of all that is, the source of creation, the source of infinite essence and unity. Please trust, and you shall be guided and helped. Please offer love to those that are incapable of receiving it because they have forgotten that they are loved themselves. 
please share the understanding with those that have chosen another path and shall they return to their creator. But please stay in your own truth and conviction. Stay in the power of the present moment, the power of the creation of yourselves, because you are powerful and that is my great promise to you. I love you, dear souls. Never doubt that. Choose me in your heart, precious beings of the universe. Source is always asking us to be understanding with other people and to send love in those places and to those people that have forgotten who they are and are not allowing themselves to receive, basically. So whenever I receive a message from Source, he's always encouraging us to send this unconditional love to everyone. Also, he's asking us to look for that pure, unconditional love within our hearts because that is the only place that that love can be felt. Our heart space is the place where source energy can be felt and no darkness can interfere with our pure beings when we do that. So it's a beautiful message. I'm not gonna comment any further because this video will be too long. So let me share an experience that I had when I did a meditation. So two days ago I did a meditation to remove any artificial synthetic chakra system that is being placed on us by different technological devices so there are lots of things that are interfering with our energetic system so i did this meditation with the intention to remove that layer of uh, artificial chakra system and what i saw was almost like an octopus like being but it was an artificial being on my solar plexus it was almost like if you have seen the movie war of the worlds with tom cruise there was this robotic artificial uh, tripod alien a huge one so this was looking similarly to that and then obviously i set the intention and i removed it energetically but what i'm trying to say is that these beings these synthetic beings are interfering with our chakra system and that comes from all different sources technological devices other inputs maybe food maybe the shedding of this so imagine if we have these things these beings interfering with our organic system and apparently they are targeting the lower chakras so the three lowest chakras then imagine what can interfere with you after taking that so i would suggest everyone again if you have gotten that do energy work on yourself but with a very clear intention and with standing in your sovereignty and what is so interesting is that this morning i saw that the billionaire bg you know who i'm talking about with the glasses that is wearing sweaters all the time so he's like the nerd looking someone he has done a video on youtube on his channel talking about five books that he's recommending to people to read and then i'm not gonna get into that but basically there are five books <laughs> that he's recommending that are supporting the idea of the artificial dna thing in that video is being shown an alien looking something that is so similar to what I have seen on my solar plexus. That was a synchronicity that has confirmed for me what is really going on. So be aware with that. And I mean, no comment about the books that he has recommended there. They are doing everything. They are trying every single tactic to normalize the virtual reality thing, the AI thing, the gene therapy thing, and so on and so on. And then obviously the comments are turned off on his channel. Why? What do you think? Why? What do you think people are commenting there? They are seeing through the lies, of course. And uh, yeah, that single gesture of turning off the comments is telling a lot about a person's authenticity. But anyways, let's get into a reading now and then check what the energies of December are. And then I will finish this recording afterwards. So I will pull a few tarot cards. What are the energies of December? What is that we have to work on, to focus on? I have cards flying out as usual but i will tell you in a second one is down there okay so i have the four of wands upright i have the knight of cups i will show you all the cards in a second i have eight of pentacles king of swords reversed and then bottom of the deck nine of pentacles reversed and then i will check what is down there so what is absolutely cool in this reading is that we have all four elements plus we have the sun card so actually the card that flew out that was on the floor and i couldn't see it because it was upside down obviously was the sun upright 
So we have wands, we have swords, we have pentacles, and we have cups as well. So fire, earth, water, and air as well. So we have all the four elements plus the sun. So for me, that means that Mother Earth, Gaia, is being supported 100% by a higher power and by these four elements as well and the sun. So whatever is coming in December will be full of celebration as well because the, the four of wands is representing celebration, coming together, reunion with those that we love. So probably Christmas will be full of celebration and we will spend a lot of time, obviously, with people that we love, with people that are close to us. However, I do believe that Christmas as well will bring people together, but also will help people to realize how important is love and how important is unity with each other and collaboration with each other. And because of that, there might be some, some issues kicking in because we have this Saturn Uranus square, obviously, that is the theme of the whole year. And then exactly on Christmas Eve, that will set the stage for people to stand up for themselves and to stand up for the values and uh, the importance of love. And I'm saying that because we have the Knight of Cups upright. And the Knight of Cups always comes with a full cup of love. So that love energy might be present in the world, but it can also indicate being fully in tune with our own emotions, with other people's emotions as well. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles, which means super hard work. So if you can see that person on the card is very, very focused, very concentrating on, on his craft. So there is a lot of hard work. And I feel like it will be related to the pushback and uh, the counterforce that we are representing, you know, pushing back when it comes to mandates, regulations as well. And then we have at the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Pentacles, which is also about workaholism in this reverse position, but it can also indicate financial challenges and financial issues. And I do believe that that has to do with the economy. So we might see signs of the economy and the structures of, of the financial system starting to collapse. And we know that there is the Pluto return of the US in the second house of the US, and that is the house of finances and economy. So things will be starting to be challenging, I do believe. And probably the Eight of Pentacles uh, is related to that as well, not only the pushback and the standing up for themselves of people, but then also the financial challenges, because that does have to do with the finances, the pentacles. And then we have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords in this reverse position is a very corrupt and very abusive individual. And then, of course, that does have to do with what I was talking about, and especially because we have the Saturn Uranus square. This can indicate that the government being extremely abusive with its people, because Saturn is the planet of the government, of the authorities. And then I will come back to this card again, the Eight of Pentacles, because I believe that that also is trying to, to indicate that getting prepared for any financial upheavals that might be present in 2022 is not going to hurt anyone. There are so many people in the financial field, experts, that have been talking about the collapse of the financial system for a long time. And the Pluto return of US is happening in February 2022. But that energy that is affecting the economy and then that is affecting the whole world because the US is affecting the economy of the whole world. So that energy will be present in the next four to five years, I would say. So get prepared for that scenario that there will be a collapse that has been in the making for a long time. Get out of the banks because they are not safe and do your research about what you have to do in order to feel safe in the scenario if you have to move off grid because there will be mandates and regulations that will affect us. I did a reading on the people that didn't get the thing and the ones that got it and uh, what will happen to them in the future and that is in the same video that was deleted by YouTube so you will find uh, the link to it in the description box. So no matter what happens basically we have the sun, we have support. The sun is a great outcome, is also celebration, is also a secure outcome and happiness, basically. So the underlying energy that is taking care of that is this, is this happiness, is the frequency of love. But as I said at the bottom of the deck, it was the nine of pentacles reversed, and that is financial issues. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna clarify this card because I was talking so much about that, I will clarify the Eight of Pentacles. What does 
it means. So what is that hard work about? Second chakra, Archangel Ariel. So that second chakra is about creativity. So maybe working hard on our creativity as well. And we have the hostility. This card keeps coming up. And this is the card of aggression. So it does have to do with people, you know, protesting, standing up for themselves and working really hard on, on creating a better future with this pushback. So I'm not surprised because Saturn, Uranus, it will wake up the people and we will see more and more protests. And I don't know, when I look at this card, I do think about the energy of the sun as well. It just reminds me of that. That orange color is the, the energy of the sun. And that's why we got from the tarot reading as well that we have a lot of energy. So we have a lot of power coming from the central sun. Plus we have the help of the four elements of Gaia. And then we have the harmony in between these two energies, the feminine and masculine we are being supported. So I will pull a last card and then I will finish this recording because it's been very, very long. So a last Oracle card about the energies of December, the last month of the year. We have mountains. Stand your ground. That is beautiful. And I'm going to read the message from the guidebook because I do feel like it can help us, this message. I just have this feeling. So... Stand your ground. Hold firm to what you believe in or are focusing on because it is absolutely right. Know that heaven and earth are supporting you. Mountains are strong and wise. They are rooted deep in the earth and reach high into the sky. They have been where they are for thousands of years. They have been home to animals. They have been climbed by humans and they have seen seasons come and go. No matter what has happened to them, they have remained strong, immovable and unshakable. And so they offer the spiritual energies of strength and resilience. Extended message. Mountain energy is powerful because it's firmly rooted in the Great Mother and reaches high to the Great Father. If you are feeling challenged or pressured at this time, know that your spirit is more powerful than you think. You are resilient and grounded and the energy and air of the mountains is giving you the unshakable strength to be who you are. Take time to root yourself deeply in the energy of the earth before welcoming in the energies of heaven. If you are not sure what you need to do next, the mountain card invites you to stay exactly where you are. Talk things over with those around you and know that change will come to you. You will be whole and well at the end of this current situation and it will not stand in the way of your future growth and expansion. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is exactly what we need we need to stay strong in December and we might be pressured, we might be challenged to not to stay rooted in who we are and what we are and not to stay strong. But we always have to remember that we are the mountain that have seen many things that have come from high dimensions if we want to translate it to our source and knows exactly what to do. And nothing can shake a mountain. Nothing just a big earthquake, but that big earthquake is dependent on a higher power and not on these synthetic and artificial forces that are present in the world right now. So stay grounded, stay rooted in reality because this shall pass and the outcome will be beautiful. And this card is confirming that to us as well. And we might get over it sooner than we expect. That beautiful, powerful life energy that is present in your heart and in your pure DNA, and you know very well what I'm talking about, that is unchangeable, that is untouchable, but it's up to your free will whether you let something synthetic in or not. And I will be talking about that more in detail and without being careful with my words on the other platform. So please, please subscribe to the other platform as well, to my channel. And it's very, very easy, the process of signing up to that platform. You just have to confirm your email address. You don't even have to confirm your phone number. So please subscribe to my channel there because there's so much that I want to say and I will upload videos there as well. Also, I wanted to say that many of your comments have been removed by YouTube. So I'm not deleting them, but then YouTube is deleting them. It's, it's crazy. This platform is very, very unsustainable, is not sure. I don't know what's going to happen here, but I do feel like that platform is much safer. And I know that some of you have suggested Patreon as well. I'm thinking about that as well because I don't know how safe the other platform is. 
because they will try everything to interfere with the information. But apparently from that point of view, Patreon is even safer because not everyone can have access. But if I set up a Patreon account that I will have uh, extra information there, like videos and content, maybe I was thinking about doing like healing meditations as well, channeled meditations and uh, doing energy work. I have to think about my own safety when it comes to delivering information, especially after what happened last time with my video. So this place is not safe. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, then you can do it. Please do that. And please share this message with those that can resonate. So thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for your beautiful messages and all your support. Take care of yourselves and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Kisses to you all.